Okay, it is September 18th, or 19th, sorry. And um, some of the main crop figs are starting to ripen, so let's check out what we have um, and see what's in the garden. So it's, we've been blanketed by a fire smoke in, for the last, like, I don't know, 10 days or so, roughly. And I have not had a chance to go outside very often because being outside for a whole day in this air outside uh, was compared to like smoking a whole pack of cigarettes. So yeah, so we've been cooped up indoors, but um, it's September 19th and there's some ripe figs to check out. So let's uh, let's see what's available. It's a yellow fig, originally sold to me as GE Neary. Now I'm thinking of that it's not. It is a very large fig, it's not a it's not a uh, Mileya or Jin Alfin. So I don't know. Well, I'm trying to s figure this thing out. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But this is ready to go. I've already done a review on this, so I won't do it today. This is my black Madeira tree. It's rained, so some of the figs are splitting. But I've been able to enjoy a bunch of figs off of this tree. The last week or so here's one that's just dropped see that yellow fig in there that's another fig that's ripe um i lost the tag for that tree as well but i feel like this one could be a syrian fig um like a quillat almadik or a kutseya that right there is my uh oral fig and uh, I don't think it'll ripen this year. It's, I think it's still too far behind. Here's the main fig that we're gonna do a review on today. This one's called a Taiwan Golden Fig. And uh, that one is definitely ready. It's been in the greenhouse all year. I've got a fan here kind of blowing on it, but um, you know, there's still kind of a a little too humid, not enough airflow. That fan's too weak. Anyhow, let's pick it. Here is another tree that is ripe, and this is the uh, the Brandon, actually. Brandon's a very early variety. <clears throat> Sorry, it's mixed in with another tree over here next to the Toral. And, <clears throat> excuse me. These are ready to pick. They're actually kind of over ready to pick. And so we'll just pick them off today. There you go. Okay, so I've got four figs here on the table. Sorry, five. There's that one right there. I think that's the Qualat Almadik. Um, the Brandon, which we've done plenty of reviews on. Uh, Black Madeira. The featured fig, which is the Taiwan Golden Fig. And then an unknown, which I think is my Sao Luis that I lost the tag for. But these are all main crop figs. And it is September 19th. Let's dig into these right now. So let's go ahead and weigh the Taiwan Golden Fig. 56 grams, that's right about average. Pretty good size. Now because this fig was in the greenhouse, it was under much more humidity than I would like it to be. So at the bottom, there's a slight bit of offness, which I'm gonna cut off. But that looks, that looks okay, promising. Okay, I went ahead and cut some of the other figs. This was the yellow unknown, thinking it's a Syrian fig. Here is what I thought was a Sal Lewis, might be. I'm not 100% sure. The Brandon looks absolutely amazing. And then the Black Madeira, always amazing. So <clears throat> we're not gonna review these, but I just wanted to show you what they, they look like once they've been cut open. And you wanna try that, see how it tastes. All right, guys, main crop figs, and uh, we are ready to go it's starting to rain here fall is starting to come into the pacific northwest and so it's getting wet 
things are going to look kind of ugly moving forward as far as the figs because we won't have that kind of sunshine to, to, to help us keep that nice color, keep that nice skin, um, and everything's gonna split. Okay, so in today's video, we are reviewing the Taiwan Golden Fig. Um, I got this fig probably a couple years ago, and now it's the first time that it's fruited. Um, it was ripened in the greenhouse. I can't say that it's early, uh, but it is a main crop here that I'm tasting. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. It's very watery. Maybe because it was in the greenhouse. It gets better towards the eye. It did sweeten up towards the eye a little bit, but maybe because it's in the greenhouse, it didn't get that kind of the benefit of heat, excuse me, direct heat from the sun. Um, it is a little bit watered near the, the stem and then gets better towards the eye. It's a little bit sweeter. It is a very average tasting fig. Um, it has kind of a bread, a taste to it versus a main crop taste. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it is a large fig or relatively eh, medium size, medium large, 56 grams. I would say the flavor is a lot like just kind of honey-ish. Um, barely any seed crunch uh, and, it, and you kind of slurp it up. It is okay. It is good, not great. Um, so I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll leave it outside next year to see how it reacts to you know, direct sun and UV versus being in the greenhouse. I was a little bit excited this year because I wanted to get fruit from this tree. Uh, so I left it in the greenhouse all year long. So as far as taste, I'd give it like a, uh, I don't know, I guess, like a 6.8 out of 10 sweetness right around there as well, like a 6.7, 6, 6, 6, 6 out of 10 uh, flavors, kind of honey-like, um, it's sweeter towards the eye, kind of watery towards the top, it might be because of the conditions that I had it in, uh, 56 grams? So it's a decent size. Uh, it's an okay fig. You know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't put it into like a, a like a top 20 or anything that I have. But uh, you know, if you already have it, fantastic. I wouldn't go out and search for this fig uh, to add to your collection, though. That's just me. But I already have it, so you know, and, and it fruits. Any fig that fruits for you, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, it was decently productive as well. I, I think I would keep it. Um, so yeah, that's the Taiwan Golden Fig. And uh, whoa, let's let's try a couple of the others. See how Brandon tastes this year. We had a lot of smoke lately. Oh, wow. It's tasting good. When you let the Brandon get really ripe, mine, you know, Brandon's, you can just leave it out outdoors. This is the main crop that ripens mid-September. Very good. Much better than Taiwan Golden. Very nice flavor to it. I really enjoy this. Very good. Uh, let's try another one. Is that yellow? Yellow unknown that was in the greenhouse. Uh, a little mushy, a little watery. And again, maybe because it was in the greenhouse, I don't love it. And then this is either the Sao Luis or the Beal. I think it's I, I think there's something about growing figs in the greenhouse. Especially when I, I've got a little pond in there. It's very humid. That makes it a little bit watery. It doesn't get that kind of punch that you get from leaving it outside. So it's um, it's okay, but the Sao Luis that I have outdoors, I'll do a review on. Because um, I think that tastes is so much better when it's left outdoors. Anyhow, guys, that's that's everything for today that I've picked. Um, Taiwan Golden, it's okay. Brandon, surprisingly, not surprisingly, I knew it was a good fig. And it's early too, so um, it's one that I would definitely recommend. It, it does really well here in Seattle. If you want a main crop, leave it outdoors 
sorry, this was a Taiwan Golden Fig uh, review, but I'm pushing the brand in because it's, it's a tasty fig that ripens early, small, productive, and reliable. So it's kind of cannibalizing the Taiwan Golden's time, but it is what it is. It's my video, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> See you guys, bye.